Nice. <laughs> We're live? Yeah. Oh, cool. Can you turn on my uh, game thing a bit? No, that. Yeah. Oh, no, it's mine, right? Is this better? I think nothing changed. Try that one. I mean, this one? No, the P2. <laughs> but I'm blue, I am. <laughs> well, whatever then. <laughs> Just turn it all down. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can no, It's better. It's better? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you did was right. <laughs> nice. So, we live? Okay, uh, before the run starts, some uh, quick comments. So, this game is really concentration heavy, which you might not expect from a point and click game, but you'll see why. This is why uh, Sphere MJ is here. I will be playing, he will be talking. For um, I tried it. the <laughs> majority of the run. Also, there's a still a, a donation incentive going. Whether I should play, um, whether I should skip or not skip the puzzles, you can donate for that until around two minutes in. That's when the first puzzle starts. Um, are there still fifty dollars missing? Uh, still fifty dollars short on that one. So fifty dude. Come 50's on. doable. If Let's go. If you <laughs> want to make Toka suffer, pay up. Yeah, the last puzzle of the game is really. Um, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Until it's happened. So yeah, I think uh, we're all set. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Game starts in uh, three, two, one, go. Okay. So this is Edna and Harvey. Harvey's new eyes. It's a game by Dead Lake, um, which was released in 2011. And as you can see, it's a point-and-click game. So you have like these uh, static screens, and you can well interact with items and uh, exit and enter. Uh, different screens by clicking. That's why it's called point and click. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, speed threads, um, even though it doesn't seem like there would be uh, with those limitations. But uh, what you can do, for example, is you can double click on the uh, on the exit of the screen to skip the animation of uh, our protagonist Lily uh, going there. So that skips quite a bit of time because walking there takes quite a bit. And um, by pressing escape as well, you can skip animations like uh, item pickups and stuff. And you can also combine that with uh, with a double click to skip the fade out of an uh, of an yeah screen change basically. But you you can't just spam the escape key because uh, if you would do that, then the menu would open uh, if you're not in something that's an animation or considered an animation. So the menu would open and you would lose quite a bit of time. So you really have to know when to press the escape key and especially with the double click you really have to have some time in there. And yeah, especially for like items, um, when uh, like for example you pick up an item and then there will be a dialogue and then another thing or whatever. And so you have to know for each item how many times you have to press escape and stuff to pick it up and to skip the dialogue after that, things like that. So yeah, it's really about uh, concentration and uh, knowing all the stuff that's going on. And what you can also uh, see sometimes is uh, when there's like a fade out or something, or like when the screen changes. Oh, can we have a $50 donation from Regitus <laughs> saying it's Woo! puzzle time. Oh, have fun with the final puzzle. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm actually sad, but thanks for the fifty dollars. <laughs> so really yeah, cool. about the puzzles, uh, you could usually skip them with the escape key, but uh, there's like the second category, which is any percent no puzzle skips. So you just donate it for that, basically. So Joker has to do all the puzzles uh, that are in this game. Yeah, that's like uh, five minutes longer around. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so what I was on about is uh, with the mouse positioning. So when there's like a screen change, Toka can already position his, mo uh, his uh, mouse so that it's uh, where it should be on the next screen to go uh, go on really fast there. Now um, to the story of this game. Uh, yeah, our main protagonist is uh, Lily, this uh, schoolgirl, and it's uh, all set in a in a kind of boarding school. Just some strict rules and stuff, and uh, yeah, this game is the successor to uh, Edna and Harvey. Edna breaks out, 
and uh, we are basically trying to, or Lily is basically trying to uh, help Edna uh, to flee from Dr. Marcel. <laughs> Here's the first puzzle. Let's see if he gets it. Nice. <laughs> Did you even cheat? <laughs> I actually remember that. Yeah, I was about to say, it didn't look down. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, what I was about to say, uh, Lady is basically trying to uh, to help Edna from uh, yeah fleeing from Dr. Marcel, which is uh, like some guy in a wheelchair. And it, yeah, he has some business with uh, Edna, I'd say. <laughs> so yeah, he's trying to uh, kind of capture her and Lily is like uh, erasing evidence of Edna being here, stuff like that. So that's why we are picking up all the What's stuff. What's that girl doing there on the ceiling? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just hanging around, you know. Casually. Cool girl. Yeah, and while we're doing this, uh, which is kind of the yeah, other funny part of this game, uh, we are accidentally killing quite a few people. Well, funny. Basically <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of morbid, but also a bit funny when you play it casually. It's actually really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Dialogue options are a meme. Uh -oh. Oh. All right. yeah. oh, now I got it. Thank you. <laughs> so yep. what you can... Yeah, yeah, so what you can also do is... Uh, when there's like a screen, you ha would have to walk to the all the way to the other side of the screen. You can instead uh, double click on the exit um, of that of that side of the screen and then re-enter the s previous screen to kind of teleport there instead of walking there. So that's quite a bit of fast, uh, quite a bit faster sometimes. Nice background talking, by the way, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's all the pink stuff here? I wonder what happened here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Maybe uh, there was uh, one of those incidents. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's talking about. Yeah, sometimes if you do that little teleport, um, the mouse cursor doesn't change as you just saw it was. It still was the um, the red arrow, and that's uh, stupid. Then you have to enable and disable your menu, it and then it works again. Okay. This game is amazing. It's also the case where sometimes your mouse cursor gets invisible, right? And you have to like mash to get it back. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah that guy in the wheelchair there. That's uh, Dr. Marcel. And you yeah, know they kind of figured out, or well, aren't happy with uh, Lily's uh, doings, I guess. So <laughs> they are like hypnotizing here with those uh, with that rabbit doll. And basically, what it means is they are giving her rules that she have to uh, that she has to follow. So there are those restrictions now at the bottom of the screen that you can see sometimes. And yeah, we kind of have to follow those uh, rules now. But, uh, well, we can actually go around them by, uh, yeah, well, when we do that, the Harvey doll appears or some demon or whatever, and you go into some kind of world and uh, you can go around the restrictions like that. With that. Cool. <laughs> What do you yeah, that's uh, an example of where we are breaking the rule, right? Yeah. yeah. Rip Spider, now we're allowed to go. Yeah. Exactly. And chapter 103 done. Yeah, so basically now Edna went to the asylum, I think, and we're trying to follow her. Yeah, we're like in the city now, I'm not uh, in the boarding school anymore. So yeah, on this graveyard, there's uh, one of those teleport incidents. 
Um, so this one is actually quite uh, interesting because it's actually like that part or that screen is uh, is an Easter egg or like yeah, it's basically a screen which uh, which points to the the predecessor uh, and breaks out. So it's kind of an Easter egg and. When you point to the to the exit there, you also get three question marks. So, and yeah, it's quite funny that you can uh, use that uh, to speed up a bit because you can teleport there. Hmm? Why didn't I teleport twice then? Hmm. Well, because uh, walking there, uh, like to that girl, was uh, this time faster. Because when you teleport first and then go from there, uh, yeah, Lily takes some kind of weird route, I'd say. <laughs> So yeah, it takes a bit longer than uh, just walking there normally, unfortunately. So we're just doing the teleport once there. Yeah, that was one of those uh, problems when you press escape in the wrong time, then you get the menu. Uh, yeah, which loses a bit of time because you have to close it. And quite oh, I just missed the cycle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 and he's dead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Those eyes are so good as well. Yeah, so you kind of get the idea, I think, uh, about this game. You have to really know know your stuff, basically, when to press escape and all those things. Especially in the later parts of the game, there are items where um, you can't skip the animations and stuff. Although it obviously is an animation, uh, the game doesn't regard them as one, so if you press escape, you still get it, get the menu. And this is one of those uh, breaking the rules uh, worlds again. In case you don't know, if you died and you want to go back to the living, uh, you just drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> In the world of the dead. There you say. go. Life tips. <laughs> oh, and also, how do you make money? You put... Uh, Money on the eyes of the dad or something. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy game, honestly. <laughs> okay, here's another one of those puzzles. I have no idea what's going on, sorry. <laughs> Me neither. That's <laughs> nice. Fine. Okay. Okay, I made it. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> nice nerd potato. <laughs> Actually, what it is, <laughs> it's a weird world here. Sure, it is. Lily. Didn't press twice. There was the <laughs> It was. Music is kind of chill, though, I like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No need to be nervous about the final puzzle, which is basically and RNG. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like a chess game with uh, with a mother of the boarding school. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Good thing you donated the work for that, so we don't miss out on that. Pretty cool. <laughs> don't you think so as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Rude. Yeah, so we are entering the asylum now, so that's chapter two. Ex Done. <laughs> and we're going into chapter three. The key. <laughs> Last third of the game. Here we go. Oh yeah, so this both sections uh, is uh, pretty nice. Because unfortunately you can't double click on the exit to make the animation go away. But there's uh, kind of a workaround on the next screen. Because what you can do is you can... Uh, after she's finally on the screen, you can double click on the exit. And then talk with this guy start the conversation, then press escape, and then we actually get the uh, fast screen change. So I think, yeah, there's only one more puzzle. Most of them are really short, but the last one, which is around uh, two or three minutes, uh, kind of justifies this category. Which I learned the route for in the last two hours, because I forgot about <laughs> the incentives. <laughs> It was pretty funny. We were like looking at the incentive. Oh, could actually get mad. <laughs> and he was like, uh, okay, I don't know the puzzles anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Nice little leg spikes. No, no problem. Leg spike, really? And a fun and click game? Yeah. How? <laughs> don't ask me. Okay. 
Toka. <laughs> oh, please. Please. Basically reset. <laughs> so rip that guy. Does the record even have one uh, misclick like for the menu where it opens? The any percent one? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I don't I think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I haven't seen one. I watched it. Do you see that? See what? How it lagged. <laughs> no. <laughs> How did you not see it? I think you imagined it. <laughs> not imagining it. <laughs> Hello, crazy people. Bye, crazy people. <laughs> I don't judge, though. Isn't everyone in this game crazy, though? Well, that's kind of true. Yeah, like really? this bee guy who unfortunately really? dies. <laughs> like pretty much everyone we get in contact <laughs> with. <laughs> This is a quite epic cutscene where we talk to him and then he jumps off the roof because he thinks he's a bee. <laughs> pretty sweet little girl, lady. Yeah, she's pretty cool. What the heck? <laughs> oh yeah, this guy has a nice uh, pizza taste as well. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry, what actually. I'm <laughs> <laughs> have some toilet blueberries. <laughs> Congratulations. What are you? What are you? What? Like, doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> Delete this game. Red. At least there's no pineapple on the pizza. <laughs> True. Thanks, Epi Dudka, <laughs> for this joke. I stole that. <laughs> Pretty sure he has a copyright on that, dude. <laughs> Gonna get <Damn>. sued. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is one of those instances where you can't skip the cutscene, right? Or the dialogue, I think. So you kind of have to mash through that. It's kind of weird how the game is like that in the later sections. Right here. Yeah. Nice sound. <laughs> Final puzzle coming up close. I swear to God, these are let's deck spikes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tripping. 15, 15, yeah, it's good. Are we on record pace? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, damn. <laughs> there were too many mistakes. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're building the friend for this guy. While oh, he's watching us, dude. Pretty cool. <laughs> and the best thing is uh, the reflection right now. Some. It's pretty <laughs> physically accurate, if you think about it. <laughs> Some nice physics there. Physics is Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe them. <laughs> so you're really like crafting a new or the actual Harvey doll. Perfect. And not the one with the red eyes. You have to. Here we go, here's the chest <laughs> Oh yeah, that's really bad. So there are two options for the spider. Either it attacks or it uh, puts up a shield against um, bullet attacks, which is um, quite stupid. So th uh, the snowman can um, attack. can build up an, uh, a shield against fire. That's even worse. That's why we kind of take the snowman out of the game with a, with a special move. And now... He's dead. And well, obviously the game ends as soon as they, they all died. Did this dramatic music. <laughs> basically, after three enemies are down, you, you win. You basically win. But it's RNG whether or not you get the shield, and that makes the fight really, uh, really slow. Because now I have a few magic attacks I cannot use up, which, was, which would uh, take away uh, 4 HP. Take him out of the game. It's just unfortunate. So this is how we can heal, which is really useful. At first I didn't know this and I always lost and I was like, how can I win this? <laughs> Rip. There I had my answer. Okay, that's fine. Now 
Rip Spider. Shield is deactivated. And uh, now we can clear out the front row. Those are the, the strongest enemies. They take away mm, around uh, 46 HP, depending on what they do. Also, the red heart, we can reactivate another um, another heart. Here it's the shooting one. It takes away 4 HP if there's no shooting shield. You see, it's quite complicated. And at first, it took me, I think, 4 hours to fully figure out what happens in this fight <laughs> <laughs> and what everyone can do. Because it is quite complex, as you uh, may notice. Does that even fit uh, Twitch DS? Like I'm actually shooting with sound and everything. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, world record time is over since 8 seconds, but that's fine. Oh, Still a decent run. So yeah, definitely. Keeping in mind, <laughs> I learned all the puzzle skips again two hours ago. <laughs> Well, I'll take that. Could make a, a, uh, maybe make the original estimate. Yeah, gotta keep in mind that was for uh, with puzzle skips. So yeah, the estimate. That, that record is uh, 14 minutes. Here it's currently 19. Yeah. So yeah, now the fight is basically one. You just have to tank them down. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selecting it. This game is this. So while we're waiting for the game um, to basically end, because after <laughs> this there's one more thing and then it's over. Um, feels a really nice commentary. That's right. Thanks a lot already. <laughs> no, it was really good. It was quite informative. How did you like it? Oh, yeah, it's a pretty cool run. Nice. Puzzles, though. Yeah. Why would you run this? Would not have donated for this. <laughs> Delete this game. <laughs> okay, and it's over. Okay, we have to match to the, to the text again. Because escape doesn't work. Because... Answer that yourself, because I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> and time. The other... At 20.49, considering at puzzle skips, so yeah. Without this would have been a mid-15. Well, that's decent enough for a marathon. Yeah, so yeah. Thanks to Sphere again, and next up should be uh, Prince of Persia Warrior Within. If I'm referring correctly, yeah. Stay tuned. That looks about right to me. Congrats, Toka, for your puzzly, brain-racking, puzzly run. <laughs> Indeed, yes. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, next up we have Catalyst on Prince of Persia.